trail mix, trail mix, he's the trail, she's the mix, they hike on trails and step on sticks, trail mix. Hey everybody, I'm Chris. And I'm Tori. And this is Trail Mix. Today we're at the Conservation Park in Panama City Beach. Uh, there are multiple trails here, uh, anywhere extending from 1.4 miles and up. Uh, today we're doing the Yellow Trail, which is four or six miles, and we're gonna do the four mile one. So today, me and Tori are trying our best to actually learn things about the wild and plant life. And since we'll be doing this in a more frequent, on a more frequent basis, you know, we should try and um, figure nature out a little bit. We learn, we've already learned by reading a whole bunch of uh, uh, pamphlets at the front that this plant that we saw a lot last time is called a saw palmetto. Oh, and these right here, the fact that the trees are in rows is because tree farming actually does exist here. Um, it's called Silv... Silv... Silvadio? Sil, silviculture. Silviculture! Yes, it's called silviculture! And that is the uh, act of harvesting and replanting this tree right here, this particular one. The pine trees! <laughs> Uh, and now we're on the watch for the goldberry. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> for everyone you see at the end of the video, count it up. Take a drink. And you'll get a reward. Maybe not from us, but somebody will probably give you a reward. The activity will be rewarded. Yes. All right, now we're on this really cool bridge. We're still pretty close to the entrance, but I just have to point out how awesome this cool swamp is. There are now, lots of bees to love here. And there are so many bees to love here. I'm told <laughs> that if they have a white face, they can't hurt you. And if they have a black face, they can. So if you ever encounter a bee, just get really, really close to them to determine whether or not they're going to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> the white ones you can put in your mouth and they won't bother you. Well, they're screams might. Stop, stop, stop. <gasps> Dumb beetle. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> you thought they were fake, didn't you? I did think they were fake. I was talking to the viewers because I sure did. Oh. It really is rolling up poo. goodness. Okay, why do you think this is happening? What's this? Um. I'm scratching the spark off. Pine? Oh, well, okay, it's a shattered pine cone, well, which I've never seen before. Some just oh, a pine yeah, cone just, just ripped up in apart. pieces. It's, are there critters that eat pine cones? I don't know. Because there's one over there, too. I wouldn't think a squirrel would do that. No. Huh. Well, why else would it? Maybe some kind of bird? Maybe. Maybe this is an osprey doing. <laughs> you don't know what an osprey is, though. It's a flying creature, I know that. Yes, it is. Look, more of them. These destroyed pine cones. Mm. Interesting. Interesting how it's only like one, too. It's only like one on every tree. I feel like everything out here mm -hmm. is kind of like the swamp version of the savanna. You know? Okay. Does, you, you see it? Or, am I, or is that just me? Um, I mean, I guess it could be kind of savanna-y, savanna but also <laughs> I think that any part of nature could be like, this is the tundra version of the savanna. Oh, I this guess that's true. This is the indoor version <laughs> of the savanna. But it's so wild and free. I feel like any second now, a swamp lion will just pounce oh, out of these. Gator. <laughs> and it will. It <laughs> will pounce out from these weeds and just, you know, eat us. Yep. Yep, that's what we're hoping for. That's why we do it too. 
trail mix forever. <laughs> That'll be our new uh, our new subtitle, you know, trail mix. Still trying to get eaten. There's been something slithering in it. It looks like. Really? Yeah. See this trail right here? Oh, maybe. No gators though. Mm, not that you can see. Just stick your foot in the water. No, thank you. <laughs> we'll catch a gator. Oh wait, wait for it. This handsome boardwalk leads directly <laughs> into a swamp. <laughs> gotcha. I feel like they could have extended it maybe like 10 more feet. Jeez, this is the wrong side to be on. So was the other one. Oh boy. Oh boy, that was gross. <laughs> it's a good thing I got my boots of justice on right now. Good thing my husband told me to wear sneakers. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and you have to pay for five guys? Wow. That's not good. Conservation Park is not as sad and depressing as a park as it sounds. Because when you first hear the word Conservation Park, you're like, oh, this is probably a prison. Like a park right outside of a prison. <laughs> Wait, you didn't think so? No. <laughs> it sounds like it's... Clearly we have not discussed this before this moment. No, I didn't think of it as a park outside of a prison. <laughs> really sounds conservation what is that what's that's got to be close Con concentration park you know let's back up a little bit from that <laughs> and maybe move on in a slightly different direction <laughs> it's a very beautiful trail full of natural wonder and elegant wildlife unless you're rolling poo that's not very elegant we ended up taking a yellow trail uh, the yellow trail, one of the yellow options for trails, the <laughs> four mile option, and it was delightful, and it was plenty. I'm sorry, it was four to six miles. We took the four mile one. But you can also do a six mile one, because, uh, well, we'll put up the map so you can see, but there are a lot of different routes, but all still are technically the yellow trail that you can see, as you can see. As you will see. Um, in terms of natural beauty, I would call it very well-contained natural beauty. This trail is like if all of nature could just come together and have a garden. You know, it's like, it's like nature's real garden. You know, there's like the Babylonian garden, there's like uh, bush gardens, but you know, if nature itself, like real nature, like middle class nature, could have a garden, you know, that is this trail, you know. They kept it together, they even made a little spot for a trail for people to walk through and look at this place. That makes a tremendous amount of sense, actually. I sound like I'm being sarcastic because that was a terrible description, but it also makes perfect sense. Cool critters! I give this trail a bee, and a beetle, and a beet, and a bear, and a beatbox. Go! Uh, <laughs> Dung beetles! Yeah! Okay, go ahead. For this, for this particular trail, I would like to change the topic, but also answer the question. And I'm going to take the liberty and change the topic to a lizard dance, a, a, a ballet, a ballad, if you will, a reptilian ballad. And I am going to rate that reptilian ballad a standing ovation. So for our X Factor, <laughs> which is Swamp Lions, I give it a zero out of ten. There were zero Swamp Lions that we were able to discern. But they do make excellent potential for imaginary friends. 
So on a number scale, how does that very good explanation pertain to this trail? trail. I guess the number is kind of, you know, infinite, depending on how many imaginary swamp lines there might be on this trail. You know, it could be one, two, seven thousand. As many as you want, I guess. They could just be staring in front of the camera the entire time and you not see us at all. Overall hikeability. Um, this was yet another trail that was ultra hikeable. <laughs> like we said, it was very well manicured. Um, big, wide, flat paths of gravel or like flattened down grass. Um, really nicely surrounded by just the right, most palatable level possible of actual nature. Ultra hikeable. It's a sidewalk. It's a moving sidewalk. No. It's this trail! It's super hikeable! So if you wanted to get a closer look at any of the photos that we took during our adventure, you can go to trailmixphotos.com. And if you like our stuff, please click the subscribe button. Or the like. Or the like button, that too. We're not picking. Or are we? No. (laughs) We're not. Bye! Bye!